All right, we're going to wait just a couple seconds to let everybody log in. Looks like we've got quite a few people getting on today. Recognizing some of those names. Hi, Kim. Got Kim from Classic. All right. Excellent. Okay. Well, oh, Mike. Mike, it looks like you have a question. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Builder Partnerships Webinar Wednesday. Our webinar today is um, pre presented by Legrand, Foundations of a Smart Home. I know it's a topic that's on the top of everybody's mind, trying to figure all these um, different aspects. What's going on? Um, on. Um, well, if you could go ahead and mute yourself. We have some talking in the background, so make sure you mute yourself. Um, before we get started, I do want to uh, share a few housekeeping items. Most of you are muted, and um, so you won't be able to speak during the presentation, but we do encourage you to ask questions. At the bottom of your screen, you should see a toolbar that has some speech bubbles with the Q&A underneath that. Go ahead and click on that as you have questions and we will stop periodically throughout the presentation to go ahead and answer those for you. Um, we also have a chat function. That one I don't see quite as easily as the Q&A, but you're welcome to make comments as well during the presentation in the chat function or if you have a question specific for one of the panelists. Um, today's presenters are um, Christopher Sherman. He's going to be our main speaker today and he's supported by David Glasscock and Kevin Murphy. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. We look forward to hearing from you today. Thanks, Emma Jane. Um, I just want to welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to go over the uh, Legrand's Foundations of a Smart Home today. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Build a Partnerships for hosting this. Um, as as uh, Emma Jane said, my name is Christopher Sherman. I am the uh, National Builder Manager for the Central U.S. and I'm going to be your presenter today. I come to you with uh, over 20 years of experience in the introduction, training, sales, installation, and application of smart home technology. Um, I'm also joined by a panel of my counterparts uh, for the East Coast, Dave Glasscock, and, uh, and our, our West Coast is served by Kevin Murphy. Uh, so we'll be able to answer any questions you may have today. Today we're going to share information and um, on how you can pr prepare your homes with a smart foundation for your home buyers. The principles discussed today will provide you a basis for whatever platform your homeowner decides to adopt for their smart home. So when, when we talk about platforms, I want to make sure I, I clarify uh, that um, platform can be any uh, uh, manufacturer specific product line. Uh, I think of uh, companies like Crestron or Control4 or Alarm.com or Samsung Smart Things, all as platforms. Uh, so with that, we'll get into the uh, presentation. So next. Welcome to Legrand. We transform spaces where people live and work through innovative products and solutions that deliver and manage power, light, and data. We do this by relentlessly pursuing both sustainable business practices and the creation of exceptional experiences through the products we design and manufacture, the relationships we build, and the way we work. In North and Central America, Legrand has gained market share in nearly 20 of our major product categories. Our acquisition strategy has enabled us to acquire and organically grow recognizable brands many of which hold the number one or number two positions in their category. This gives you more choices, allowing you to specify the exact products you need to craft the best solution. With access and resources around the world, Legrand is a global $7 billion publicly traded company with more than 37,000 employees and facilities across 90 countries and products sold in 180 countries. Our global reach brings deep knowledge, broad experience, and best-in-class offerings that can partner with you to any space around the world. Every day, Legrand brings power, light, and data to millions of spaces, 
while investing to understand and transform the customer experience. At Legrand, every product, every insight, every interaction is designed to be better. Um, but let's keep, continue. So uh, when it comes to residential building, Legrand's expertise in, in data, light, and power delivery um, provide an easy solution for your smart home. We start with a proper low voltage uh, structured wiring infrastructure, and then we add on a turnkey Wi-Fi solution focused on coverage throughout and even outside the home based on your uh, specific requirements. And then we complement the foundation with scalable options for switches, dimmers, outlets, smart lighting, and USB power solutions. And that's what we'll be discussing today. In short, we want to make it easy for you to turn over the home at closing with the foundation required for integration into one of the many smart home platforms available today. Next. So as you can see from the names on this list, Legrand has developed partnerships with the major manufacturers throughout the home building and technology space. Uh, we've done this to stay relevant with the infrastructure required for smart home technology. In fact, uh, Legrand is part of a consortium of manufacturers, uh, including the likes of Apple, Amazon, and Google, and we're focused on a project connected home over IP. The group is exploring the development and promotion of a new royalty-free connectivity standard to, to boost compatibility among smart home products. And the aim of the Connected Home Over IP project, uh, which has actually been built around the shared belief that smart home devices should be secure, reliable, and seamless to use, is to make it easy for manufacturers to develop and increase the compatibility uh, for consumers. Next. So Legrand works with several of the large scale sing single family home builders pictured here. Uh, as an indication of where the industry leaders are going, I'll direct you to a, a survey recently compiled uh, by Builder Online in which it said 35% of these builders provide the networking infrastructure to provide a smart home ready home for their customers. In the next section, we will outline the trends and solutions offered by Legrand. Um, but before we begin, uh, about uh, talking about the trends and solutions, are there any questions about the ground? No, okay. We'll move on. Uh, so as far as trends and solutions are concerned, since 2005, the ground has made an important acquisition as it relates to residential smart home infrastructure, acquiring companies like uh, OnQ, Pass and Seymour, and Luxel. And these are the companies that provide the solutions for the foundations of the modern smart home. Next. So before we discuss the solutions, we're gonna talk a little bit about the trends and requirements of consumers today. Um, if you look at the timeline here on the left, I'll take you back to 1999, when the term Wi-Fi was coined. And with the introduction of the smartphone in the middle of the screen in 2007, uh, Wi-Fi demand exploded and a mere 10 years after um, uh, the, the cell phone, uh, the smartphone was invented, 89% um, of homes in the US with broadband uh, began using Wi-Fi. So it really only took 20 years for us to go from introduction of the concept to the commoditization of Wi-Fi. And, and I wanna give you kind of a perspective on that. Um, the first true automobile was built in 1769. So to become available and mass produced, it took approximately 150 years for that to happen. So uh, this just goes to show you, we live in extraordinary times. And as such, Wi-Fi is now considered the fourth utility. A strong Wi-Fi backbone is essential to our livelihoods, and, and especially with the uh, recent working from home trend. Wi-Fi wi -Fi is really no longer a luxury. It's, it's a must have, and it's required in every nook and cranny of the home and throughout the outdoor living spaces. Next. So when thinking about a Wi-Fi ready home, it's important to understand that this utility will be the backbone for several systems you may take for granted in your home. Uh, when you talk about TV today, uh, most of that is coming through the internet. Uh, music, video games, uh, computers, you, you have your phones, your printers, you know, we talked about the office environment, uh, tablets, uh, security, uh, surveillance, smart lighting, uh, your smart speakers, and uh, even, even all your smart home platforms 
uh, are going to depend on the Wi-Fi system. And because of these systems, we recommend you wire the home correctly for Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm going to say that again because I think some people uh, may, may not have heard that. Uh, wire the home for Wi-Fi. A simple statement, but it's a really a profound concept. And it all starts with understanding the heart of the Wi-Fi. Uh, and that starts in the structured wiring enclosure. Wiring specifically, CAT6 should be run from the enclosures to TV locations, home offices, and wireless access points. So uh, with the help of a great low voltage contractor, they'll, they'll give you all the considerations for locations of the wiring. But when it comes to designing a robust Wi-Fi system to co cover every nook and cranny of the home, Luxel has a design program which takes your layout, your construction materials, and your coverage requirements into account and delivers an engineered floor plan to your low, volt your low voltage contractor for installation. But remember, again, it all starts with the structured wire. Next. So again, everything is going wireless, but uh, wiring is still important. As you can see in the photo above here, uh, there, there are several wires for even the most simplistic solution. Um, we often get the, the question, why plastic versus a metal enclosure? Well, a plastic enclosure allows you to provide the homeowner with a virtually invisible uh, Wi-Fi network um, and high performance without uh, really seeing any wires or the ugly black boxes. Next. So in addition to the, the structured wiring enclosure, you can build on the foundation of the smart home with a properly designed network. Talked a little earlier about the Luxo uh, Wi-Fi Assurance Program. This is a custom design program that uh, allows us to create a Wi-Fi network according to your specific floor plans. Uh, we show you how many access points are needed for the whole home Wi-Fi, where they should be installed, and we also pinpoint the location of the structured wiring pen. When your contractor installs the system as specified with Luxel networking equipment, we guarantee the coverage for three years. Next.
So uh, another foundation that we want to consider is, is in, in your homes is lighting. Uh, lighting control is one of the hottest uh, applications for smart homes, and it's the easiest way to upgrade the home's appeal and uh, the security of the home. So one of the most problematic issues uh, when selecting smart lighting for your homes is the switches and dimmers don't usually match the not so smart option. Now that, that's my technical term for uh, it's just a regular light switch. <laughs> the difference is we give you the ability to choose from two different collections, both of which offer a smart option. So if you, if you look here uh, on, the, on the slide, uh, Radiant and Adorn are two collections. Um, and, uh, and we can also integrate these products with several of your smart home platforms. Um, take, take for the likes of Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, Control4, Crestron, Elan, and, and um, more. So, next. When it comes to your home, you care about every detail. But what about switches and outlets that look like a cheap afterthought? Remember those unsightly screws? No more. The Radiant Collection by Legrand delivers tasteful colors and metallic finishes, offering a new level of style, affordably within reach. Switches, dimmers, outlets, nightlights, motion sensors, USB outlets, controls for your intercom, music, and more. You don't have to settle for more of the same when finishing your home. Go more stylish. More functional. More radiant. Request Radiant from your professional electrical contractor. Find it at leading home improvement centers or visit legrand.us slash radiant. So an additional consideration that you'll make, and that, that was our Radiant Collection, uh, is uh, when it comes to the foundation of your smart home is really power delivery. Uh, so how are we gonna get um, all the smart devices, things like tablets, uh, Bluetooth headphones, uh, Bluetooth speakers, cameras, uh, cell phones, and laptops, how are we gonna get power? And you should really be uh, aware of the formats available and the locations you wanna deploy power for, the, for these devices. Uh, Qi, which is a, a, a wireless charging method. Um, we have a product up on the top left, uh, which is called our Radiant Wireless Charger. And it uses what we call Qi charging. And this product is the first of its kind and it provides a revolutionary way to charge a phone uh, without any wires. Uh, so it cuts the cords and cleans up your kitchen counters or your, or your drop zones and things like that. It also has LEDs that communicate the status of charging and uh, gives you a better uh, or, or an easy installation because it's designed to replace any standard single gain outlet uh, using existing electrical wiring. Uh, in addition to that, you'll, you'll be familiar with the, uh, the bank of four uh, USB um, uh, types there, which is U USB type A. And really this is your base level standard. Um, USB-C, which is the smaller connector to the left, uh, is, is, is the up and coming standard and it delivers more energy uh, faster to your devices. So typically it can charge um, your phone, for instance, in, in half the time than you're currently using uh, with the USB-A device. We also make hybrid products and that's, that's one on the bottom there that has both a USB-A and a C. And this is really the, the recommended as the forward thinking standard. Um, but when it comes to placement and where, where should we put these, there's a lot of considerations and you want to uh, partner with your electrical contractor um, uh, on this. Um, but a few things that we would recommend for power delivery centers include places like drop zones, your kitchen, uh, bedrooms, uh, possibly uh, even mud rooms, covered patios, and, and certainly the office. Um, so it looks like we have a few questions here. I'd like to answer some of those. Uh, the first one, why CAT6? Is there any internet available more than gigabit uh, per second? So I think um, that's a great question. 
And the answer is no, there isn't anything available yet. Um, but, uh, but you always wanna be looking out and, and future proofing uh, when it comes to wiring, because uh, usually that's one shot. You get one shot to put in the wiring and uh, typically there's not an upgrade necessary. Uh, and I believe that Cat6 has come down in, in price to, to a point where it's, it's very affordable to, to install. Um, and then along with that, there's another question. Uh, talk through getting from the exterior to the box, what is recommended, approach, materials, et cetera. That's a great question. Uh, so obviously getting, getting from the, the DMARC location to the uh, structure wiring box in the house, uh, there's, there's a variety of different options there. Um, I think it starts uh, with understanding the type of cabling that you're running. Uh, cabling is important and there is uh, cabling that's designed uh, to be weatherproof, uh, whether that be uh, a Cat6 um, uh, weatherproof, weatherproof cable or a uh, RG6 weatherproof cable. Um, so, so that's an option as well. Uh, and then along with that, we, we make at uh, at Legrand, we make a variety of, of cover boxes, that, weatherproof cover boxes that you can include in, in, uh, as an entry point into the house. Uh, so you eliminate any um, you know, uh, rodents or anything getting in uh, to, to the house. And uh, we can go over those on an individual basis as needed. Uh, next. Oh, looks like we're... We have looks one like more question. One more, one more question, I see. You see a new offshoot electrical trade coming out of this. The Wi-Fi low voltage internet contractor. Someone more specialized than an electrician. Ah, okay. Uh, that's a great question. In fact, uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, um, folks uh, changing their business model to, to be kind of a hybrid when it comes to electrical and low voltage contractor. Uh, I absolutely see that in, in our space uh, throughout the, Throughout the country, uh, we actually see more and more of the electricians um, adding in low voltage contracting as part of their business, as well as uh, vice versa. We have actually seen uh, some of the uh, low voltage contractors adding in electrical work. Uh, and, and I definitely see that as a, a trend for the future. Next. So let's talk a little bit about our, our builder program and uh, kind of the foundation of, of the smart home starts with the solution to outfit your home with a uniform fit and finish. But the beauty of our program is that we put together uh, an offering with builder partnership that has additional benefits as well. Next. So in addition to the uh, rebate incentive, uh, the, the Grand Builder Program are, Model home offers model home discounts, marketing, warranty, and in, in addition to that, we do have infield support. We pride ourselves on being there for our partners, um, training, and standing behind the products and programs we represent. Next. So this is our, our team here, our national builder support team. It's, it's outlined in this map. Uh, I introduced you earlier to Dave Glasscock. He supports uh, our builders out, out on the East Coast, and you can see his territory there is highlighted in yellow. Um, Bob Fowler and myself handle the build, builders in the central uh, US, and, um, and that's outlined in the brown and white. And then Kevin Murphy on, uh, handles and concentrates his efforts really on the West Coast, and his, his uh, uh, territory also includes Alaska and Hawaii, um, and uh, is highlighted in green here. Um, in addition to that, we also support um, the local territory sales, uh, the, the team with a local territory sales managers for our audio video devices. And um, we work with a variety of electrical marketing reps, um, both in-house and um, rep firms uh, to ensure that you know, any project, whether it be big or small, it, that we have the support necessary for them. Next. So the next steps are really outlined in this slide. Um, you know, first you wanna identify your existing contractors. Um, are they familiar with our products? Do they need a refresher? Or do you need recommendations for contractors maybe for a new project? 
Um, we will deploy marketing resources to ensure that the contractors have a distribution relationship and are, are able to competitively um, quote, you are the grant solutions. And once you've identified the, the contractors and approved their proposal, uh, you'll need to sign up for the rebate program with builder partnerships. Um, the, 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 the Legrand National Builder Team, as I mentioned before, is here really to support you and come up, uh, help you with any questions you may have um, and any uh, uh, issues that you may have in the market. So uh, that said, are there any additional questions? Okay. Looks like we're moving on. So for the next one, um, is just some testimonials. So again, um, we pride ourselves on, on uh, working with the, the builders throughout the country. And um, I'd just like to highlight a couple of uh, case studies that we've done. And th this information is also available on our website, uh, legrand.us. And um, so move on to the next one. Uh, the first case study is uh, Dries Homes. And really their, their uh, goal was to look for, uh, you know, standard connectivity inclusions in, and uh, they, they offered a couple of different products, designer switches and outlets from the Adorn collection. So one of the switches you saw probably in the video, as well as here pictured on the lower left is a wave switch. Uh, this is great uh, for the, uh, uh, to address the pandemic that we're currently in. Uh, you don't wanna be able to, uh, you, you know, you want to be able to limit the contact with outside devices. This switch uh, turns the lights on and off just by waving your hand in front of it. Um, they also did the Adorn under cabinet lighting. Uh, they started with the OnQ 30 inch plastic enclosure, as well as uh, Luxo wireless access points and a router. And they're finishing everything off at, on the locations with data and cable jacks as well. All right, so it looks like here we had another question. I'm going to go on to that real quick. It says, uh, should a builder provide a router or is a warranty technical support too burdensome? That's a great question. I think, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, has been uh, talked about uh, with builders in the whole smart home transition is what, what, does, the, um, what does the builder take on uh, from a technical standpoint? And I think that's different for every company. Uh, but I can tell you from a, a Legrand perspective, uh, we fully uh, intend to support our products, specifically with the routers, uh, for three years. So not only do they um, do do we work with uh, you as a builder, but we also work with our low voltage uh, contractors that do the installation and make sure that they have the support necessary. Um, in talking uh, locally here on the ground in Texas with some of the contractors that we work with. Uh, they, they fully believe that they handle the majority of the phone calls uh, uh, from homeowners in regards to those questions. Um, but again, your, your level of exposure is, is really up to you. And, uh, you know, you just want to make sure that, uh, you know, you, you, you work closely with those partners, those contractors, as well as us. So the next one here is Neil Communities, and they're, they're located down in Florida. Um, and, and they uh, started out with standard smart home, uh, an on queue Wi Fi ready plastic enclosure. They're using the Luxo wireless access points. They also did the USB outlets and, um, and, the, and uh, switches and outlets from the Radiant collection. And in turn, also a multi room digital audio and intercom system. Uh, I love the quote here it says, We knew buyers were going to want to stream high def video and audio in these homes. Not to mention, rely on the wireless connection to enjoy uninterrupted control of the smart technologies. That meant a strong backbone was required with the right wired and wireless equipment. And after 20 years of working with Legrand, I could trust they had the range of products needed to get the job done. So it's a great testament to, to our partnership. So with that being said, uh, Christopher, it looks like we have one more question. Okay, let me pull it up. How is 5G going to change in home wiring needs? Well, that's a great question. Um, you know, I think 5G is still on the precipice of uh, being an earlier adopter uh, strategy right now. Um, but, it, you know, there's, there's a few questions around 5G in general, and that, that the first one becomes uh, security and how, how are they going to secure the, the, the network? Um, but in addition to that, uh, you know, you, you may have a 5G on your, on your cell phone right now, 
Uh, I think the infrastructure for 5G will take uh, a little while to build out. I think that's a, that's a conversation we'll probably have in the next uh, two years as to how, how does a home builder um, begin to prepare for 5G. All right, and finally, uh, I'd just like to really thank everybody for being on the call today and turn it back over to Emma Jane. If there's any final questions, please feel free to reach out to uh, one of the Legrand uh, National builder, builder Managers in your market or myself. I'll be more than happy to, to answer any of those questions and work with you on a program. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. We do have one more question that came in just as you were finishing. How do you interact with the ISP um, laying cable infrastructure in new communities? Is that a so the ISP's uh, sole purpose and, and their sole job, if you ask any of the internet service providers, to get the um, the internet or uh, to your to your uh, doorstep, basically. Once it gets into the house, they they claim to have no responsibility over that. In fact, they tell a lot of our um, low voltage contractors that that is not uh, their responsibility. Um, they, as long as they're providing service to the house. Um, they believe that their job is done. And you'll, you'll see that, um, and you may have already had the, the interactions uh, yourself uh, in your personal home uh, with the, the ISP providers telling you that, hey, you know what, the signal's coming in fine. If you're having a problem in your master bedroom, we don't, we don't have anything to do to help you. Now, they've tried to offer solutions, but what I can tell you is the, the, that our interaction with them is really to provide the service. Once we get that service in, into the router, um, that's where we, we um, pride ourselves in, in handling the coverage throughout the house. And that's what the whole Wi-Fi Assurance Program is about, um, giving you the coverage so that that, that service can be uh, correctly utilized everywhere you want. Excellent. Thank you so much, Christopher. It was great having you with us today. Um, Legrand has always been a great partner for partner builder partnerships, and we've enjoyed working with you guys over the years and all the support you've um, given builder partnerships and our builders. Um, we want to thank everybody for joining us today. You will be receiving an email tomorrow with a link to the recording if you'd like to rewatch this video. Um, and it'll also have all the information for your local contacts in there as well if you weren't able to get the information off the slide. Um, thank you again for coming. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or any one of our speakers today. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah.